603. Select Board's meeting, August 21st, 2018. In attendance, Chairman Deedy, Mr. Fox, Mr. Steinhardt, Cindy Pendleton. And Mr. Mogul will be here very shortly. Doug will be here soon. Yeah. Stuck in traffic on the freeway. Good evening, folks. It is 603. Uh, public comment is first. Should anyone have something they would like to say? Please state your name and address for the record. Wonderful. Moving on. Should we want to take him first, or do you want to do some other business? You want to do the minutes and all that? Yeah, stuff? we'll do the minutes. Yeah, because his hearing is six ten. So oh, perfect. Right. All righty. So acknowledgement of payable warrant one nine zero four B, dated eight thirteen eighteen, in the amount of. $345,840.74. Acknowledgement of pay payroll warrant 1904, dated 82018, in the amount of $226,783.11. And need a motion for regular session minutes 8718. So moved. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Do we have any executive session, Mayor? Yes, you do. Okay. Need a motion to approve. So moved. So I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. First up, we have um, this. So is this going to match my openness? Yes. Okay, let's see. That's the hearing that should have been. Yeah, no, I understand. This is my packet that I don't need, that you no. want back, right? I shouldn't need that. No, this is just the minutes that you just approved. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> All right, so first up, the uh, school's opening this year, folks. If you want to get that press, you got that? School's opening. All right. We got it? We're good? All right. It looks like um, the staff opening day is August 27th. Yep. And um, I guess we're allowed to walk into that building again. I, I could have sworn I had a no trespassing order on me there. <laughs> But well, they want us to RSVP, so... We'll oh, I'm not going. I know, Russ, you went last year. I, I'm busy with the biggie. So, Russ, if you have time... That's Thursday. Right? Next Thursday? No, this Thursday. That's this Thursday? Hello? No, it's... Oh, yeah, okay, yes. It's, it's, it's next it's Monday, Monday, right? Right, right? Yeah. They want the RSVP by Thursday, so Cindy can get those from Yeah, I think it opens on the 29th, Well, right? I notice they no longer ask to us to speak. <laughs> well, you took care of that, didn't you, I a few years ago? A few years ago. Yeah, yeah. Ever since then, they're very careful in their wording. And that was under the new superintendent or the old superintendent? That was under the new superintendent. Wow, that, the last you. one wasn't inviting you. The last one, they didn't invite us, but the oh. new one said I could speak, and then... <laughs> Once. And they were that was it. <laughs> I'd tell her I'd be happy to attend, and if she wanted me to say a few words, I'd be okay. happy. <sighs> mm -hmm. I already Wonderful. know what the answer is. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I'd keep that to you. Don't hold my breath. No, no. And we're on good relate working relationship with I them, know. so I know. don't screw it up. Okay. All right. All right. Host agreements. Yep, Mr. Chairman. Obviously, this is going to relate to the uh, meeting that I had with the people that just closed on the land on College Highway near the um, Southwick uh, Historical Society location. Yeah. And they're going to be um, submitting an application to the planning board okay. for the uh, cultivation and growing of recreational marijuana on College Highway uh, down the street from Nicholson Hill Road. Oh, right by Nicholson Hill Road. Oh, wow. A lot so, of action over um, there this year. So there's going to have to be a uh, the elements of a structured uh, host agreement. Yep. Which, so I have that packet being developed for you. And I'm going to have town council structure out the process step by step so both the um, this entity will know and can agree with it with their attorney as right. well as our town attorney so that'll be you know the next several weeks for that process to happen but i did end up having them come 
through my office yesterday for a meeting. Wonderful. And does this run with the planning board meetings at the same time? The development of it? Yeah. I'm going to find that out, but I think it can be done concurrently. Perfect. It, it, it's one of those things we'll, we'll just determine who does their approval in the end. We can still structure them, we can yep. still develop them, but maybe the finalization and votes and so forth to adopt them. And it sounds like there's a... But they're going to have to go through a process that's very highly regulated through the what well, used to be formally known, they used to go through the Department of Public Health, and now it's through the Cannabis Control Commission. Right. Because the governor created a different board and the legislature approved it. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole other mechanism now that was different than when we, we sat down two years and had a ago. discussion on College Highway yes. for the former use of the bank. Right. And the grow facility on Hudson Drive four years ago. Right. And that. the planning board, there was a moratorium. Yes. So yeah. since then, so there's a whole other scheme of legislation that needs to be adhered to. So this new round of people will go through that new mechanism. Wonderful. In, in the way I read this, even though we do a host agreement with them, right. it still has to be approved by the Cannabis Control Commission? Um, no, I think there's been some stories where they would like to be the ones that start, that that are involved in it, but I think okay. the MMA's position, yeah, I, I, the MMA's position is that that should not be a finalized rule and regulation that would require Okay, that. so they're asking us to so, write a letter. And again, the package I'm putting together for you will be much more thicker than this, and okay. it's going to give you a lot more background. Okay. The laws, the CMRs, the and, citations. And the attorney Coyle is going to fill us in. Um, I'll probably use him and Tom Reedy. Because okay. remember, Tom was at the um, yep. the mar the medical one. Yep. So he's he's very much up to speed. Um, All right, then he's probably the individual that should uh, make sure that we do everything proper. That's why we're gonna have a checklist, right, for our board and because the, uh, I'm sure there will be board. questions in the community, and we want to make sure we have all the right answers. Wonderful. Good talk. So I'm going to pass on the fire truck and the dump truck till Douglas comes. Okay. Um, we pass on that. COA kitchen staffing increased hours. Mr. Chairman, yeah. having read that over, I'd like to make a motion to table. Okay. To our next meeting. Very well. So that I can get additional information from the council and agent director. Right. All right, so you made a motion. I'll second that motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So I'm giving the out of order just to screw yep, you up. That's fine. Okay. And then I think it's 610, Mr. Chairman. It is 610. <laughs> Sir, how are you this evening? Come on up. We're going to read this out loud and then we'll Gentlemen. go from there. I've never done one of these before, so bear with me, all right? I'm going to butcher your names. Just deal that's with it. Mm -hmm. It won't be the first time. And it won't <laughs> be butchered. the last. Okay. And it won't be the last. No, sir. <clears throat> but it's all in good, you know, yes. nothing bad at least. Yet. Notice is hereby given under Chapter 138 of the Massachusetts General Laws that Manoli, Manoli. Manoli Pizzeria and Restaurant LLP, 515 College Highway, has applied for a transfer of the on-premise all-alcohol liquor license 12200006-0020-RS-1222 at 739 College Highway, Southwick, Mass. Previously owned by EEG Corp, DBA Candlewood N., Property description, brick building located in the Caraman Roads Plaza, LLP, westerly on College Highway. Premise consists of a kitchen, dining room, and one room for storage. Entrance on east and west side, enclosed patio, 499 square, 489 square feet in the front of building. Two more exits and entrances and a unisex bathroom. You're a cutting edge with that unisex bathroom, huh? That's I wonderful. already have the handicapped bathrooms. So. There you go. The proposed hearing will accomplish a transfer of said license from EEG Corp DBA Candlewood Inn. Approval of new manager. Oh, I'm not going to go right ahead and say your name. Emmanuel. 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 Anastasis. Anastasis. Beautiful. <laughs> established entertainment license after the premises and established new LLC members. Time and date of hearing August 21st, 2018. At around 610 in the Select Board's Conference Room, 454 College Highway, Southwick, Mass., 01077. You might have just missed one sentence, Mr. Chairman. Applicant is requesting alteration. alteration of premises to add to serving area to be 24 by 38 with... Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Like I said, I know I'd screw it up. 
All right, so I need a motion to open the hearing. So moved. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Read legal ad. I did that. Entirety or waive the reading. We didn't waive it. Any paperwork entered for the record? That would be so any, letters received anything, from people that could attend the hearing. Is there I anything in here? Received any written testimony nope. to be entered into the nope. record? Nope. Boy, that's surprising because you got a lot of butters and no one wrote back. That's wonderful. You must be doing something okay over there. Thank you. Yes, sir. Or it must be the boy doing the right job. That's probably what boy. it is. Yeah. Sorry about that. That's uh, okay. All right. I didn't want to say it, but. No, I can. All right. Anyone? All right. So g give us a rundown of what you guys want to do. Okay. Uh, my name is Anastasius yes, Emmanuel Karatanisopoulos of 5 Hummel Lane. Yes, sir. This is my son, Emmanuel. Anastasius Kareth Anasopoulos of 192 Berkshire Ave. Wonderful. Okay, um, we've been in this town nearly 40 years. I've been at Village Pizza about 37 years. I've always had a beer and wine license there. Never had any issues. You know, I, I have, you know, my roots here. My children have grown up here. And uh, we would like to have a full liquor so we could make it part of the restaurant. Yep. Um, and that's basically it, you know. So you're moving the hair salon to the right? I'm moving the hair salon to the right. Yep. And I'm taking her space. Sure. And I'm putting a pad out back because uh, the beer is going to be in a cooler outside. Yep. And then we're just going to put it underground to the bar. So basically what I'm doing is taking the hair salon, I'm building a concrete pad to put a cooler outside. As of right now, wonderful. And uh, I'm going to have another entrance, separate entrance, and a separate exit from the bar area too. So there's going to be another right two more egresses. And you go in between the restaurant and the bar. And I'm going to put an there. opening. Yep. Yeah. Between yep. where you walk into the restaurant to the right yep. near the counter, I'm going to put one opening so it, you know it'll be yep. it'll become one establishment. Yep. It's not going to be a separate entity. Right. It's going to be part of Manoli LLP. Will there, I don't want to look at this. Will there be seating on that side, too? There will be, yeah, some the seating. bar and some seating. Some seating. Yes. Good. And we're adding the, the other bathroom also. Oh, nice. <clears throat> Considering, you know, we already have two handicapped bathrooms. Yeah, but that'll we be also, nice. Yeah, you know what I mean? It'll be in the bar area, yeah. but it, they can access whatever they want. Yeah. And we also have another bathroom in the back for the employees, so there are plenty of... Wonderful. Works out well. Can I give that with Lieutenant Bring something Landis. up? Yes. Is the cooler that you're going to put on the pad included in the serving area? It's not, it's not part of the serving area. No, it's storage. The it's one that storage. lines underneath and up in. Right. So there'll be never. Yeah. It, it's Is not it part of the new additional square feet. No, it's going to be. A, it's within your existing square feet. It's well, it's going to be outside the cooler. But it's not a serving. It's no. not part of the if, serving if area. Anything, all it's storage could, of alcohol. Right. Kind of thing. That's what it is. It's storage. It's going to be, yeah. you know, if I, whatever, it's going to be a storage room. But all they wanted was the serving area. Right. Right. Yeah, I don't know if you have to include the storage area. But I did go through the planning board. And I got it approved. I went through the building inspector. Right. So they also, saw the pad. They, they saw, saw the, everything. Yep. The building inspector already okay. gave me a a, a, a building Landis? permit. Excuse me. Landis, you met with Lieutenant Landis. He says he everything is fine, and no problem at all. I've talked to him. Yeah. A couple of times, and he says he doesn't have a. That's problem. That's the newest anyway. thing now. You put the, the the cooler out back, the regular walk-in cooler, anyways. Right. But now you put the kegs in there, so you're not manhandling them through to put them under the bar. Exactly. They can change them in two seconds in that room. Right. They're in they're that room. Cold. They're all tapped and everything. Right. Instead of dragging them yeah. across the. Much cleaner. Right, and you don't have a kegerator. You know, yep. everything's that out feels back. Like that silver cooler unit. So that's going to be the back of the building or the front? In, in the, the back. In, in the, the back. back. You won't even know it's there. It's just another walk-in cooler. You have no clue. It's even there. Yeah, you think it's full of steak. Yeah. <laughs> Except it's got six locks on it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. I understand. What and you're cameras. Saying. 
Yeah, well, cameras. You know, what will happen is the ABCC guy comes out and checks And they look at that anyways, right. yeah. So he's going to look at that. Yeah. Right. right. The police. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, at least we can acknowledge it in the hearing. Yes. That we're yes. aware of We it. are aware of the storage in the walk in. And we can, when you open up, if anybody has a problem with it, I, I don't have any problem with it. No, you wouldn't. Whatsoever. You literally, he could put kegs out on his walk in right now and you wouldn't know. Right. It, it's just, right. it's the, con the it's, way you're doing it. It's here. the way of doing things. Right. Especially I'm now. just, all, yes. we're, all we're trying to do is in case they want that. As far as your the, license goes. Part okay. of the description. Well, that's the description right. is yes, we're putting a, a walk in okay. cooler yes. outside right. so in we're the aware, back. We're aware of that. Maybe yes. enclosing it to the weather, right. that's about it. Yes. If, if somebody, it's a gray area. Right. Right. But we talked about it, it's on tape. Right. We're all well aware of it. Okay. Right. Wonderful. Any questions, sir? Uh, we serving food over there too? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's why I asked if you had seating over there. Okay. He does. Yeah. So the seating is yeah. for. So the restaurant's yeah. on both sides okay. now. Correct. Not as much seating on the other side, but there will be some. Right. And this is the golf course's liquor license. This is the golf course's yeah. old liquor license. Yeah. You've only been trying to get a liquor license for 10 years, no? Try More than that. Try longer, longer than, that, right? than that. Yeah. When, uh, let's, when Welch was a selectman. Is he still alive? <laughs> Barely. Barely. Yes. I'm going to tell him you said so. <laughs> That's fine. That's okay. That's probably one of the nicer him, things I, I said. I tell him things. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. that's when Judy was the secretary. Well, that's going way back. Yeah. And we used to have the meetings at the school back then. I, don't think I, I can go yet. back even further. Exactly. When your family came in to get your first liquor license. You remember that? The mayor of Hartford was your attorney. Exactly. George, George Athenson. George Athenson he was, came yes, he in was, and represented you. Yeah. And we were over at the old town hall, town hall where Correct. the police, where bus garage, yeah, over there. everybody was aboard, yeah. sitting yes. at that table. And uh, You good, remember that, the huh? The good mayor the had to help me pronounce your name uh, at the time. Do you know that he, uh, my father baptized him? What? God rest his soul. He, yeah, my father was like six or seven, and he was his godfather, the ah. mayor of Hartford, back yep. way back, yep. back in the old country. But yeah. that was back in the eighties when you 82. guys, when you guys started. Yep. I was still in high school once. I was the youngest selectman. I tell you, I was yeah. twelve years I came old. Here. I think I'm the youngest right now. No, no yeah. more has got I came here. I was. I wasn't even twenty-two. I was twenty-one years old when I applied for that license. Yeah, I remember that night. Yeah. Me what is it mayor. with you, Victor? All you guys came over. Young. Yeah, because Victor and I are the same age. Yeah. Their hair wasn't great. No, it wasn't. No. Not even close. <laughs> At least you still have color. He's pale as can be. I know. The poor guy. I feel bad for him. I know. I swear <laughs> to God. I, no, I, I do. do. I do. Yeah, I like he, him. He, Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I like no. Victor. Victor and yeah, I have no problems. So you know. Yes. He's got to get that looked at. Okay. Any questions? Uh, no, I'm satisfied. I'm very satisfied. They have a great track record in the, uh, they do. the town of Southwick. Uh, long time residents. Never yeah. had a problem. So, no yep. problem at all. Thank you. All right. And you're going to become the manager, okay? Yes. Everybody's got to be TIP certified. Yep. Sure yeah, they probably are. already are, right, because yep. of the beer and wine anyways. Yeah, we can't do it. get a license right. without that every year, so. Yeah. yeah, and your Board of Health, just so you know, FYI, moving forward. Or the hell's going to want to get paid right away, or we're not going to be able to issue a license. Not that you were part of the debacle I was. Yeah. I paid the fine. Yeah, <laughs> I was. I wasn't open, but that does, that's beside the point. All right, so I'm going to ask the audience, is anyone here in favor of this? Is there anyone in here that would like to be against this or speak against it? It was close. All right, we did the general discussion. I need a motion to close the hearing. So moved. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We had our general discussion, change of manager, and the officers are going to be who? Officers and directors. I'm the president. Yep. Vice president. Okay. Secretary. Yep. No, it's just asked, so I got to yeah. ask you. Yeah. It's all you. Good. All right. So we close the hearing. I need a motion to change manager and officers and directors. Uh, so moved. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. You're all set, sir. I thank you, gentlemen. Have a lovely Appreciate day. it. Have yes. a nice evening. Nice. Thank you for the history lesson. No problem. <laughs> yeah. He remembered more than I remember. <laughs>
That's wonderful. It was a pleasure meeting the mayor. He was uh, yeah, quite a gentleman. He was. Especially at your age. I mean, he must have been just I was 12 years old at the time. Here we go. Yeah. 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 You always heard there was Hartford down the street. You never knew where it was. I didn't know where Hartford was right. until he told me. <laughs> That's where I grew up. You were a doctor. Oh, this is yeah. Yeah. a dog officer. Nice. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you. See you guys. Have a nice evening. Thank you. You yeah. too. Nice. See you later. Come on. Thank you. Wow. All right. And take the fire chief. You want to do that? Might as well. All right. Fire chief, come on up. We were waiting for Doug, but uh, I'm not quite sure what happened. Your scanner didn't go off, right? Nothing? No. Good. No. That's good. <laughs> he looked good. He looked good. He had flowers. He sure left the flower shop and he was a good help. All right. I heard someone's phone ringing in the other room. Unless he thought it was 630. No, no. God, I checked mine. I have nothing. He has his mail folder and everything. Yeah. All right, uh -oh. sir. Oh, you got something? Yeah, I got something. Yeah. I'm sorry to inform you. Oh, no. Somebody else. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> they got the most I looked at I saw silence. somebody passed away and I, oh, I thought oh, it was the canine dog. The canine dog. The retired one passed away. Jax passed away. Oh, oh you're really? kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, how old is he? In dog nine, years eight, or human years? Nine years. Eight years. Oh, I just saw him the other day. Was he sick? Oh, he had a little limp going on in the back. You know, the yeah, back. He had some medical issues. Like every dog. Oh, that's, okay. that's just too bad. We'll have a moment of silence next week. Here, right? All, right. All right, so first up, sir, is uh, we want to talk about the fire truck? Sure. Okay. Um, so after much research to do, yep. we've narrowed down the, our, the model of what we're looking to, to buy, yep. um, which is basically yep. just the complete spec. And Oh, boy. Yeah, I mean, we only have one copy of it for now. But Bad. I'm good. it's a 70-foot uh, mid-mount platform. So we'll be adding the, the bucket on the end. So for safety, we'll be operating out of a bucket as opposed to off the, the ladder that we did with the old yep. unit. Um, so is there a ladder going all the way up? Yep. Yeah, oh. there's a working ladder all the way up just as well. Just in case. So right? it's like yep. Westfields. It's got the Similar. tower. Yeah. It's a lot smaller. Right. So. Just 30 feet. It's going to be red, though, right? I, oh, yeah, that one's not right. I wanted to yeah. wait. I had a whole list going for that. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, I is it going to be red, sir? Yeah, it'll definitely this, be red and I white. I see this like one's lettered. Will that one be lettered, sir? I had all this all planned out. You ruined it. Which letters? Anything. <laughs> Anything, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be thrilled I with something. I apologize. Um, Thanks, Russ. So as far as procurement, um, we've gone through the... Um, uh, Houston Galveston procurement group. Yes, uh, Carl joined that. Um, yep, the auditor approved it. So it saved us going out to bid, and yeah. actually saved us five thousand dollars from going through other procurement packages. So, yeah. um, the big questions now are more from: um, is do we want to take advantage of some prepayment discounts? And then again, Carl is interested in the length of the notes and things yeah. like that. Yeah, but, there's some issues that we have to make a series of decisions related to this acquisition tonight that will be done through a series of votes so that bond council will have direction and we'll know it in our bonding terms. So it's all there on the agenda, the items that we have to vote on. Okay. We need to do that tonight. Yep. Okay. Yeah. That's right. All right. Yep. Yeah. All right. Mr. Steinhardt, why don't you talk us through this? Well, I think the first thing we should discuss is the um, would be the uh, prepayment options. Uh, now, is this the updated? That's the updated. Yeah. Do you have extra copies? You, I, you I were do given. Not. You were given uh, a purchase price was originally what nine hundred. Eight ninety nine or something like 890, that. Eight ninety right. Yeah, so the chief, you know, he he had to deal with a few more things being added onto it, so it came out to. Uh, Nine hundred and two thousand seven hundred ninety six dollars and thirty nine cents. And of course, this goes against the borrowing authorization for both this and a pumper that town meeting gave us uh, the approval votes in May of one point two million. So we're, we're doing a two piece acquisition. Yep. And tonight, okay. we're just dealing with the ladder truck. 
the pumper is going to be done and the engine is going to be done in the next month or two, and it's going to be through a different procurement process. Okay. So the first thing you got to do is to look at <coughs> look at whether or not you're interested in any of those uh, prepayment options, which you, means we have to go out and obviously do the borrowing sooner rather than later. And what's the interest rate on borrowing the money? Um, we have it attached. The, um, Let's see, on the 902, you have the... Uh, option 4, I believe, was advised not to do by council. Is that the 100%? Yeah. 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 But here's your... We have that here. Anyway. Yeah, you have it here. Okay, on a, yep, yeah. that again. On a one-month note and a nine-month note for the principal cost of 900, it would vary now that the, uh, the bid price is going to be 902. Right. And as you can see depending upon which amount you end up prepaying, it gets you the estimated cost of the borrowing and then the savings, and then he's looking at using that savings for the uh, other loose equipment. Okay. So what do you have a recommendation between uh, you and the chief? Or? Well, I think um, town council, who's constructed the contract, um, his recommendation wouldn't be to go more than 50%. Yeah, because... You are going to sign a contract, and yep. you, you want to make sure that you have that leverage at the end of it when it's delivered, yep. when it goes through a shakedown cruise, and the chief and his um, command staff and uh, truck committee determine if there's any uh, warranty issues, then you, you're going to want to make sure that you have those other remaining funds, no different than the retainage on a construction contract. Right. All right, so if we went with option two, that would put us less than 50%. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's your recommendation. And after everything, we save around 14000 So you'd be looking at circling one of those. Option two. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All those in favor? Mm -hmm. Aye. Sir, how are you this evening? Late. It's all right. <laughs> Mr. Mogan has just entered the building. With Ellen. 632. We just bought a fire truck. Another one? Yeah. Sweet. All right. Must have needed it. I need the co-signer, so it's all good. Chief says we need it. Yeah. Okay. So we'll let you so guys actually, speed what we did is fire we, stuff. we just made the determination of which prepayment option we right. did. You actually have to take a separate vote to award it to something. So, so we saved 14000 by the prepayment of just a little less than half down. With the and that's rate. a council recommendation for the contract construction. Okay. When are we getting it? They got it. Three hundred eighty-nine days. Or yeah, thirteen months is the guarantee. So eleven to thirteen months is the range. So you're out. Yeah. It's it's not a demo per se. So it's no. It's what we want. It's right. custom made. Right. It's red. And it's red. Shocker. And it comes with letters too. I checked. We're good. I wasn't going to go there. Well, we already did. Russ spoiled it. <laughs> that's okay. All right, Steve. so next up. So that's the first. The, the second decision is going to be the, um, the award to the vendor. Okay. So moved. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, the next decision will be to authorize the chairman to sign the contract when it comes in approved to form by town council. Like that. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, okay, the next decision is going to be the note duration. The note duration is how long you're going to bond for it. Now, when you went through the budget process, you would look at 10 years. You have um, model amortization schedules attached to the, um, back. to the back of your thing here for, you know, 10 or 12 or 15 years. But that's based upon an estimated nine hundred thousand, and your your price of your award tonight is nine oh two, because the chief had to add something to it. Yeah, the lettering, was lettering, the lettering, lettering. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and the important thing, the, the important thing about this note duration is it, it has to be less than the asset life, and you're going to take that vote next. Well, the asset life given, is like a hundred years, right? Uh, you no, for equipment, one. it's it's, no. it's twenty. Um, but you know. You can Reality is 25 to 30 per NFPA specs. But yeah, right. But the mass DOR 
right. guidelines on the lifespan of an asset for that fall into this category is 20 years at the length of it. it so you can't make you have to make sure that you are run. Your note between your short-term borrowing, which you're going to undertake after tonight, and the conversion of a long-term note don't combine to exceed more than the asset life. That seems reasonable. Yeah. Right. Did bond council make a recommendation? No, this is your determination. Okay. You're going to, because once you make the decision, Doug has to sign it for both the fire truck and you'll make the decision for the dump truck. Because I'm just the clerk, I think. Because that you're the like clerk, the and that's what thing. bond council drafted that for the clerk to sign. <clears throat> of the board. Well, do you have a recommendation? Well, you know, we, we went through this, and um, last fall we spent a lot of time making sure that we were going to. Uh, go through the board with the board and the finance committee to make sure that we are looking at the debt replacing debt roll-off schedule. So we want to make sure that uh, um, you know that you're going to have probably 12 to 15 years would be the number. 10 might be a little aggressive because you're looking at undertaking some other, other, projects other projects and some other buildings and other um, apparatus for public works. Right, Joe? You've been. Yeah. We had a site visit with Public Works, so. And those. So you'd be looking at the 12 to 15 year the range because I think the 10 roads, would be too roads, fast. So you're thinking. What are you thinking? Doug I'm is thinking sensing 15. 15. I'm thinking 15 because I want to do roads. You got to do the roads, and you're going to have other yeah. capital projects, and this. Yeah. It's certainly not going to come anywhere near the life of the equipment. Well, with the short term and the long term. Today's so, today's world. Who knows on that? So technology is wonderful. But yeah, I would say 15. I'd be comfortable with that. I'll make an informal motion. I'll second that motion then. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so that's 15. And then the final vote would be the asset life. And uh, Joe, you can pull that out for, for the board to look at, but it, it's got the um, it's got the duration. And that is where on the last page. Yeah, it's six A. Yeah. Item six A in your action. Right here. Yep. Six A. Okay, so the fire trucks, um, you know, conservatively meaning, you know, worst case scenario, you want to make sure that's of course gonna be longer than the note duration. Right. So that you would probably put for twenty years for both vehicles. Right, for fire and dump. Yeah, well, you know, the dump you could do for 15 yeah, I would. because we pay those off yeah, faster. Quicker. Those are about, what, a quarter of a million? <coughs> yeah. Plow. So your five trucks should probably be 20 and your dump should be 50. So moved. So yeah. you'd fill that in. The board would uh, sign it or authorize it, and then the uh, clerk of the board would uh, sign off on it because that's going to be an attachment that has to be certified for bond council. Is there a second to that motion? I'll second the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And again... None of this is really new for you guys. You've gone through the budget process. You went through the finance committee budgets. Yep. You went through the reconciliation process. So this is really just the formalities of going through to, to procure one of the three large apparatus, which is right. the ladder truck. He's going to be back in front of you soon for the, um, you know, the, the bumper. Yeah. And the dump truck was already ordered the week after town meeting because that takes six or seven months to get it in. Yes. <clears throat> and you had two of them that... Uh, working for that tool. so you'll have that by November December the dump truck right fully <clears throat> operational and ready to go out and plow and sand it has all its and that went through and it's going to have all its accessories and that also was awarded through a stamp bill right so we have enough money for the pumper you feel yep okay yep. and we'll, that with a little bit for loose equipment and shelving and things like that right and then that fourteen thousand is enough to give you what you needed the money we're yes. saving to yeah to outfit her what yep. you need great and it do we have a plan to get from here to 365 hours? 13 months from now? As far as the ladder goes, yeah. the current ladder is being repaired. Yes. So the um, the unit that that got bent through the testing process was um, they've sent two of them and the wrong one came out both times. So they had to, because of its age, have to have a local manufacturer make it. Um, but the, it's not that bad, really. It's, uh, but here again, they're making the parts for it because it's 30 years old. But we hope to have it back next week. So, um, and then it'll, we hopefully should be good to go. And we'll have to test that before we get the new one. That's included in the this. Understood. A year from now, as the new one's coming down the highway, will no. we have to test the old one? No. Thank you. No. We don't want to test that. No. 
as you recall, you authorized. We have a, and Maya helped pay for it, the insurance company. Well, I understand. Consultant that yep. helped us do the apparatus, bid specs, and yep. evaluated our fleet. But right. We want that one to go off into the sunset. This right. was a standard test that needed to be done. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, it is, the latter test has to be done annually, and there's a certain one every five years. So this one will have its good test now while it's out. Yeah. Be safe, and that'll be the last time it gets tested. And right. is that the five-year test or the yes, annual? Oh, good. Years. So when we sell it, we'll have a four-year lifespan left on that In test. Theory, yeah. Well, it yeah. helps. Yeah, right. We'll be selling yeah. that surplus. Yeah, yeah, but the guy that wants to buy it's going to look and ask about that test. Yeah, the painter might want it for. I was going to say, yeah. he's painting <laughs> houses, right? Yeah. yeah. And it's going to go on a freighter to South America, probably. Yeah. Well, um, well luckily, there's no room in front of the fire department to put it. Did you need Stop an authorization it. to sign the contract? Because we have to do that fairly. The chairman is authorized. Oh, authorized. So. You're already authorized. Yeah. Okay. All right. I didn't know if you needed a vote. So, all right. Yeah, he is, and you already took that vote. Yes, right? we, we did. did. Okay. Very good. That's it. I'd just like to thank the chief and his yes. staff for doing the excellent job you did. Uh, this was a long, drawn-out process, so thank you very much. I think we got a great product, and be excited to, for a year to go by. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do we want well, to talk he'll about the? will be back in the, front uh, of us in a month for the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> While you're here, deputy chief's position. So that job description went was the, actually the original job description, and got sent to Fred uh, Attorney Dupre for. Um, to put in his format. Yeah. So the language really didn't change. It just changed to his format. Okay. To match his other job descriptions. Right. All the, the other ADA formatted job descriptions. So, the so everyone's needs. happy with it. Yep. Yep. Okay. So the board needs to adopt it. Need a motion to approve. So moved. Okay. Is there a second to approve the second. language? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Did everyone else get two of them or just me? Just you. Ooh. I read it twice. Sign it, pass it down, please. Anything else for you? Uh, obsolete equipment. I don't know if you yep. need me for it. Yep. Obsolete equipment. It's basically cleaning out the shelves for items of no value. Yep. It's got to take it off his inventory, so he needs your permission to dispose of it because it's not going to lend itself to the surplus sale that we're doing with all the other equipment. So moved. Is there a second? Yes. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I don't see it here. We'll it was in. There. It was a list in here. Yeah, I, I did read it earlier. We'll, we'll get to it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Yep. Okay. We table that. You got an appointment. Yep. Richard Listro. Come on up. <laughs> How are you this evening? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm all right. Thank you for the opportunity to speak in front of you. Yep. Selectman, and uh, you called, you returned my call after my visit to uh, to get the concerned people on yep. Nicholson Hill a uh, chance to speak about Absolutely. the planned group home. Group home. After having read the Fair Housing Act and seeing it, it's, it's a bit of a quandary, and I understand. I haven't read it. Well, that's why I got you. And the, and the case law, yeah. that it doesn't look good as far as they pretty much have their way about when they want to do it, they can do it. But, but what concerns us, and, and I don't know how we address it, is we have a very nice neighborhood. Yep. And so uh, T.J. Welch moved then. You guys, well, were, yeah, you guys exactly. were a nice neighborhood, yeah. but continue. <laughs> exactly. And uh, it's a nice neighborhood. The houses are, uh, you know, all 500,000 yep. homes. And then is that a scenic road too on top of that? It is, yes, yep. it is. It's a yep. scenic road. And we're concerned that the houses are going to suffer. It's got nothing to do with the people that are going in there. It has nothing to do with their rights. It's about the value of our houses in the future. Yep. Uh, I have toured some of their other houses that they have built. They all look the same. Um, the one in Sheep Pasture Road does not look like a residence. It looks like a motel. It looks like a facility. If it had more doors in it, it would look like a hotel. It will not fit in there, and it has a rental home next door. The one on Doug Road looks the same. It's the same building. The houses next to it have mattresses thrown in the front yards. It appears to be Reynolds, but I don't know. Yeah. But the issue is, 
it's not the same kind of neighborhood. It's on, practically on 10202. It's behind uh, the, a church, Jehovah's Witnesses Church. Yeah. The one that they built out in uh, Wyben, same thing. Across the street is a Kaczynski, is Kaczynski's, uh, what do you call it, uh, fruit market. Right. It's not a neighborhood. And therefore, if they're going to be building a home, we don't like the design. We want it to look like a home. In many instances, these homes have been built, to, uh, they have been converted homes in neighborhoods. Right. Well, those houses blend in with the neighborhood. Sure. This thing doesn't. All right? And it's... This house does not blend in with the plan on building. Right. And it's, uh, you know, for a lot of, di for a lot of different reasons, uh, all, concer all around the appearance of the home, we're against it. Understood. Okay. We'll get to you. Okay. okay. And as you did your research, you found out what? That's probably found out that there's been losses. There's been losses yeah. left and right uh, on uh, that have brought been brought up uh, yeah. for, and always ruled in front uh, for the fair housing that they have the right to live pretty much where they want to. Right. That's not an issue. No, and I get that. I, I do. And and and, it, and part of uh, <coughs> what was discussed is the. I guess they come up with the, the number that if it's six people in the, in the home, then it changes everything. It changes everything. Yeah, it's, it's, a not, it's a business. Right. Or, right. And right. they're at four, I think. I got, the, I got the same yeah, number. It, got. It, yeah, it, it appears that be that's the mold of yeah. all the different ones. Yeah. Right. Uh, a friend, a very good friend of mine, has a group home next to him in Westfield, and it's not a problem. But it's just a residential home that they bought and when it came for sale. Right. And it looks like it belongs on the street. Right. Uh, it's on a slope. It's going to be, we're actually looking at the back of the house. It's facing the street. It's two stories. It's a walkout basement. What's it going to look like from the back side? It's even going to look less like a house. Right. All right. Understood. I don't know as this board what we can and can't do for you. I mean, if, if, if I was building a house on your street, would you be allowed to tell me what I could build? Probably not. And, well, I, and I'm with you. I'm just the, saying. But the zoning rules would apply against it. You, if you were building a home on my street, yeah. you'd have to pay attention to the zoning rules. They don't. Understood. But just, I, I believe I could still build that same ugly house, with or without the zoning rules, because I don't think you can tell me what I can build. I think the height you can, and and there's certain you know geometry issues. I'm sure that play in. But overall, if I wanted to build something ugly. I probably could. Not that that's the answer, but I hear you. I do hear and you. I hear you. You know, and I and I wish it was 16 miles back in the woods and no one saw it. But apparently that's not the case. It's closer to the front, right? You can it's visible. Or do you think it'll be visible from the road? Well, uh, depending on the season. Fairly, yes. Depending yeah. on the season. If if they don't tear down the buffer, right? All right. Uh, the buffer and the trees in the buffer should screen out the house yep. as long as there's leaves on the trees. Correct. As soon as the leaves are off, it's going to stick out like a sore thumb. Right. All right. Uh, with the exception of TJ, which has the uh, honor of looking up the driveway, so he'll always be able to see it. Which is, he's got this There's so tree. much I could say to that. Yeah. With any he luck, has, he'll be living there in a few years. Yeah, but anyways, yeah. yeah. I hope you think that's his address anyways. Yeah. Understood. Um, all right. Name for the record, please. Uh, Michael Govey, 12 Nicholson Hill Road. Yes, sir. Uh, my house is directly across from the 11 where this is going to be. Okay. Uh, I've looked at some of these other houses that they've built. These are commercial buildings. This is not a commercial street. I know what they say it is, but it's a commercial-looking building. Yep. If you drive by the one on Sheep Pasture, it has lights all around the perimeter of it on the building. They're on 24 hours a day. Right. It has a parking lot in the back. Not a driveway. It has a parking lot that the uh, Conservation Commission is having a problem figuring out where all this water is going to go, and they need to have more work done. Their plan is to direct it into the stream that's in the wetland. That stream goes under my front yard. 
Right. Now, my front yard already has a drainage problem, but I have no problem with water in my basement. Now, if you start dumping a lot more water into that stream, what do you think is going to happen to my property? Yep. What do you think is going to happen to my property value when someone comes up to look at my house and looks across the street, there's a parking lot with a bus parked in it. Are they going to give me fair market value for my house? Bullshit they are. This house is ruining my right to live there, and I've been paying taxes on this road for 16 years. I work my ass off 60 hours a week to be able to afford that house. And now some company that makes $33 million a year is going to put it there because they feel like it. You go down the College Highway, everything on College Highway is for sale. Put it down there. There's one at the end of the street that's $12,000 cheaper than the one he's paying for. Put it there. Why screw up my house? That's my retirement. I have nothing else. I have no pension. I have no savings. Everything I have is in that house. And these people are going to come in and put an office building in front of it and say, you have no rights. That's bullshit. That's not American and that's not democratic. We're here to tell you that this is not acceptable on our street. If they want that house there, build it exactly like all the other houses look on the street, put it the same way, no parking lot, no perimeter lighting, put it in like that, no problem. But if you're going to put this office building in there, you're going to have a problem. Because I am not going to stop here. If I have to hire an attorney, if I have to go on TV, i got to go on Facebook, YouTube, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make this ugly. But you're right, you should. That's how you feel, go right ahead. But once again, as this board sits here, as he's already said, we, we don't have a magic wand to take care of this tomorrow. You know that. You can make recommendations. You can talk to the people who are doing this. It's a, oh, it's sure a large company. Yep, absolutely I can. You people are elected to speak for us and yep. help us. Yep. We're asking you to see what you can do about it. Yep. Could you oh. talk to them and say, hey, here's a lot right here. Buy this one. Let me tell you, sir, I'll gladly reach out and I'll spend hours on the phone and even meet with them without a problem. Doesn't mean you get what you want, as you know. But yes, will I spend that time? Sure, I will. Well, we appreciate you know, that. And, I, and actually, today I already made two phone calls to those folks discussing trees, if shrubbery, if there's anything out there that can or can't fix things. The questions that got brought up to me after last <clears> night's <throat> evening was the trash. It's contracted. So there won't be trash sitting there piling up. There won't be a dumpster? I don't believe they're to use a dumpster, no. And then I said, well, what about the maintenance? Because uh, Mr. Welch's, um, uh, I'll go on the record, maybe it's his wife, I don't know, um, is very concerned about the lawn because apparently she's out three times a week mowing oh, yeah. mowing their lawn and, as TJ nicely tells me, going through mowers. So she's very concerned about the appearance of the outside of that facility. And since I had that on my mind, I brought that up. And that's a contracted mowing service that will be mowed regularly like everyone else in that neighborhood. Yeah. You know, so so I, I have done some of that for you. Not, I didn't ask him to please move. I don't think I can, but I gladly ask him to. Sure, I'll gladly ask him. There's a lot down the street for twelve thousand less, and maybe they'd be interested. But who knows what the answer? Well, I think we all know what the answer is going to be. But you know, I, I'll one gladly. Of the things ask. that maybe you could ask them mm -hmm. is uh, th this gentleman. I think at one point had uh, said to one of the people on the street that this is a six hundred thousand dollar project. As well as the lot, it's like 120. Or sure. Like so for seven hundred thousand dollars, they're going to house five people. How many houses Four in this town five. can you buy for seven hundred thousand dollars? You could house a lot more people. You could. Is there something else behind this that they need to spend all this money on a, an office building? Well, as you know, sir, as we get older and the disabilities creep into our lives, you know that average house. Well, maybe his house isn't 100% disability, ready to go. You know, maybe you're going to have to widen your doors or put in that goofy, no, no, that goofy the, tub with the a, door on it. You know, I'm going to have to. I live yeah. in a, I don't live in a ranch, so I'm going to have issues down the road. Um, so when you, when you unfortunately put out those big price tag numbers in today's world, that's probably what it does cost to have four bedrooms that are ADA compliant with X amount of restrooms and everything else they do. On so one even level. and on one level, right, right, it's cheaper to go high than it is to go wide. You know, so yeah, I hear you. Seven hundred grand, you could buy a much better looking, bigger house in Southwick. Doesn't mean it fits their well. You would their be needs. able to house more people. 
<laughs> but if, nah, yeah, you start limit. To trip but then you start tripping stuff like this gentleman had No, what said. I'm saying is for that kind of money, yeah. you could buy multiple houses. Oh, sure. sure. They used to, Mike. That's what they, that was right. what they used yeah. to do. Back you know, you buy yeah. a house in a neighborhood, even right. on our street, right? and it looks like everything else in a neighborhood. Oh, completely understood. I understand your your. So it uh, makes me think there's more to this. I mean, this is a big company. A big business. Big, bi big, a very big, big business. business. I don't think it's the acquisition cost that is what drives it. No. I, I didn't study it enough to know, but it seems to me it's. I mean, the company makes its money by housing these individuals, right? And so they, the acquisition cost is not the big piece because it's over a long period of time that they get a monthly amount of money. And to Joe's point, a ranch or a single story facility. To house for, they can't go up because they they're not going to put elevators and so on and so forth in. So they'll go wide, and that's why they get such a large footprint. And the footprint drives the cost of construction, and plus all the other accoutrement that they need to put in. But that's probably why. Yeah, you're right. They did used to buy existing single-family homes, and and they still do because I think we've had a few in the last couple of years in our town, right, where they've done that, but yeah. it was a different clientele. Same general principle, but the clientele is different. I, they could move up and down the stairs easier or whatnot. Um, that's all I can say about that. You know, and you know, Joe's right out. You know, I'll be glad to pitch in wherever we can as far as reaching out and see if if there's other other places in town that might be more enticing cost-wise to this, this company or not. And I don't know what's driving this particular location for them. I, I don't know. <coughs> don't, don't be misled. However, this is a business. Oh, absolutely, you can call it, it a nonprofit. No, no doubt. No. Thirty-four million dollars, yeah. forty homes. Yep. Right. right. And and by the way, we're all paying. Oh, absolutely. We're paying. We're the ones that are paying, paying for it. For a second, sir. I yeah. get it. Yeah, right. I know what. Yeah. <clears throat> and we've been paying. Oh yeah, we, and yeah, we'll this continue to pay. It's how it is. And you know, yeah. um, you know, and the, the Fair Housing Act, and, and when I was on planning this, I got an education on that once, and what was the other one? The Dover Amendment. Right. That's the other fun one that comes into play every now and then with these I things. Uh, don't even. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of case law around that too. As far as when and you can and can't override zoning, mm -hmm. the Dover Amendment is basically a school, a church, or any kind of educational institution override zoning in a town. They can just do whatever, pretty much do whatever they want. Well, we had that discussion last night in conservation. Comprehensive cause, permit. Because there's, there's one theory that it's a commercial building and they have to apply by this, but then the other theory is it's a single family house <coughs> and they apply by this. So and, they, and they it, danced around that last night. And it depends on the age of the people that are living there and if they start running classes in there, they call it semi-educational and the Dover Amendment apply. I mean, I don't want to get into that now. It's a, right, it's right, a whole right. area of legal thing that yeah. I, it's not my thing. <laughs> and I didn't say it at Holiday right. Express. But you know, where they can do pretty much anything in his own yeah. under those those uh, those acts. So, you know, the, but this is not our first encounter with these folks. We have a good relationship with a lot of businesses that do operate in our town that, you know, they want to be good neighbors. We'll, we, you know, and we can talk to them on and in that aspect of it too, because this may not be their last project in our town. We've no. had conversation, you know, to tie it back, when I was on planning, you know, we had conversations with developers when things weren't going right, and we said, "Look, if you ever hope to develop in this town again as smoothly as this has gone, you need to fix these couple of bumps in the road." We can have that discussion with this developer company as well, and say, "Look, and we understand where you're coming from. This is the feedback we're hearing from constituents. What can be done? And whether it's, hey, here's another place on College Highway that someone's done the legwork for. This is enticing, better, worse, cheaper, faster, better. I don't know." But, you know, and have that conversation as well. This is two-way street. It is. Anyone else? Sir. Walter Bedrava, I live on this street. Uh, I bought a beautiful uh, 2002 build a house. I built the stone wall by myself to me one month because it's scenic area, so I wanted everything to look original and nice. I bought extra lot next to it from Mr. Waterman. And this lad is uh, neighboring for this lad 11. Mine is now number nine. Now I'm, I'm confused because they are trying, like saying, single family and it's business. It's confusing for me totally. Uh, first of all, they should honestly, you know, explain it to people as it should be. Secondly, 
I my proper I am I was planning to sell it, but now I am in jeopardy. So if I ask you a question, let's say since I cannot sell it as a residential because next is business, I would have to use it, you know, let's say I would build business the same house, run the same business, would town of south would allow me to do it. I, I hire professionals, I, will, I love senior citizens, and I would be rejected in every office. Because when I went to <coughs> Mr. Benetti in 2003 and I presented my plan, I, I asked him clearly, you know, is it residential or is it business or mixed or whatever. He gave me a map and said residential. So that's why I invested in it. Because sure. I was in Palmer, I was in Belchertown, I was all over with my wife for two years. Luckily, I found this lad with Mrs. Uh, uh, Tanga York. Their daughter had it, but daughter was pregnant, they couldn't build, so I was came on spot and I got it. But I mean, we would like you to understand that. I can see you understand that. And do something, push somebody. Because for me, like, we are helpless on this street because we are like force. Hey, I can see now people are just coming and doing whatever they they surveying, construction, everything is ready. Nobody even ask a question. We had meeting and I saw we, we didn't have too much to say. Even you know, somebody said, "Oh, we, we can do nothing because it's government or state." Or I mean, it's is not right. Is something wrong here? A and it's. And it's hurting. Thank you. And of course, they fall under the, the theory that it's a single family home. And, and, and you're right, it's commercial. And you're right, it's commercial. No doubt. We know that. We know it's big business, 30 something million a year. But that's that's the, the you know, they're not smarter than us, but, but boy, they've done their homework. They, they do this everywhere. There's how many in this town? I think four or five. More than that. More than that. Right. That I'm aware of. There's four or five. Apparently, there's probably more. Different right. companies. Different, so different in, in, companies. In all different companies. And you're right. Some have the younger folks in them. And the and the cruisers there every other day. There's no doubt about it. And there's some with the older folks. You don't even see them. Like you said, to get you have a neighbor or a friend. He doesn't even know they're there. And that's great. It is. I'm sure he's thrilled that that that's the case. I would be. Versus the. 15 year old they didn't knock the house down and put up a no no they used what was there and made it work facility yes understood yeah, they used what was there a yeah. home, another home so mr benetti believe it or not which i don't believe he was actually right um because <laughs> <laughs> we've all had different dealings with mr benetti rest and now uh, rest his soul he's easy and you know? um and he's right it is all residential and and yes under this loophole of federal government or whatever you want to call it let me finish one sentence. Yes. This can be done in different nice Oh, it can be done anywhere else but, but next to you. Understood. No, not, not that it's hurting me personally, but I mean, it shouldn't be mixed with it. It's beautiful nature. Yeah. I have little deer bones. I, that's why I don't cut half, like one acre behind. You let them sit there and run. All the yeah. nature, bluebirds, everything. Is, this is disturbing. This is totally new environment. I'll be out of it, honestly. Right. I'm selling it, I'm on guard. Understood. Not fair. Thank God you guys like Mr. Welch, huh? Because hmm. <laughs> he just built. Right, he's I the know, last I house know, built up there. Well, there's two built. Him and um, yeah, the, the wood guy built. The Rosier. The Rosier built. Probably the Rosier. Yeah. And they're adjacent to you guys or close by? I think one, the Rosier is behind me. TJ's two houses up. Two houses up. I haven't been up there in years. Since they paved it, and that debacle, and that is a debacle. It's not finished. If it wasn't pa if it was paved, if it wasn't paved, they probably wouldn't put the street. They probably wouldn't have put the house there. Yeah. If it was still dirt road, so. Yeah. Well, maybe another five or six or ten years, we'll finish paving it, but it won't be next year. Hmm. But I did mention it. It is on the list. I did actually see it, like within twelve. You know. So. And, and uh, I don't know if she's going to speak, but, but Mrs. Scalra was here it was the family that originally owned the land all the land up there the watermans yep and she still has a, multiple lots up there and right. she's got the concern about the value of the lots sure and also but she's not selling this lot but no she, she already she had already sold, sold this lot. lot and the person she sold it to bought it but there's mm -hmm. an emotional attachment for it it's sure. a farm oh absolutely you know, yeah the family farm 
Yeah. Understood. C. Anyone else? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sir? Marie to Nicholson Hill Road. Yes, sir. Um, I live on what the... Number, sir? Two. two. I live down the end of the street. It's still yet to be paved. Okay. So I wanted to make that known also. Oh, absolutely. Um, so I just wanted to voice my support for my neighbors. Sure. Um, don't agree with the commercial property going in. Clearly residential street. Yep. Um, I moved to my young family. Um, we're just building a family. I have a 10-month-old and a 4-year-old. And I'll have to think about moving. Really, if this goes in, it just doesn't seem like the kind of thing I want on my street just because of the fact that it is not a residential home. Right. You know, I look forward to my children playing with other children on the street, um, not having to avoid the van, you know, that comes four times a day or whatever the case may be. Right. Um, so, just all these things. I'm here to support my neighbors. And uh, is there anything you guys can do on our behalf? I'm Understood. I'm for you, and we'd like to see something done. Thank you. Do you want your street paved or do you like it gravel? I want it paved. Okay. Because yeah, that would make paving my driveway make more sense. Yeah, I'm just wondering. It, it, it's funny. Back in the day, there was a lot of no, discussion no, more than this <laughs> over the gravel road. It's funny. Yeah. Uh, the people who didn't want it paved have all moved out. <laughs> have they? Yeah, they really. It's new. Yeah. You know, but uh, the ad was it didn't. Street, I'm sorry, didn't want it paved. It didn't Correct. want it paved. Oh, have right. all moved out. The end of the street, that end of the street, which is the flat end, didn't have to deal with the hill. Yeah. Well, we didn't finance enough money for that debacle to begin with, or it would have all been paid. 90. It was a chapter 90, and the funds ran out, at least according to Nice. Ran out right. long, but it's been a mess. It's so. a lot of dust flying. That's the problem, because people go faster on this paved. Right, and then they hit that. They hit this dust, and so washing windows is more often, you know, and right. the inside yeah. is more dust. And there's usually a few good potholes right where that transition is. I hear about right. those all the time. Yeah. Growing up here, I remember the street being a dirt road. Sure. So. Where's that go? Where does that go? Yeah, because yeah. I, you know, I live only a couple miles away. My parents still live there. Yeah. Um, but now it's nice to see it as a neighborhood. Have yep. some great neighbors, and uh, want to keep it that way. Okay. All right. Uh, Anyone else? Uh, I just uh, thank you for your uh, the time. Yep. Understood. And I uh, appreciate the opportunity to uh, uh, tell you what our concerns are. Yep. And I hope uh, you can do something for us. Well, I, I gladly reach out, which I don't, you know, as you can tell, my mouth gets me in trouble all the time. So I have, oh. I have no problem I know conti like. continuing on. Right. Sir. No, I was just going to say the legislation that was approved is, in my, my opinion, very poor. They are running a business. Uh, I can t all I can tell you is we had an incident with another home in town. Uh, we did sit down and meet with them. Uh, it wasn't this company, it was a different company. But they did try to do some things to appease us, uh, you know, putting up barriers and buffers oh, and, right, yeah. and taking care of outside alarms and things of that nice and getting rid of the dumpster and going to barrels. So mm -hmm. that particular company, sitting down with them, having a conversation, it worked. And uh, I, I, as the chairman says, uh, we're going to reach out to them. We're going to have a frank discussion with them. Uh, obviously, we, we can't force them to do anything. But uh, like uh, Mr. Moglin said, um, if they want to do any further business in the town of Southwick, they don't, they don't like controversy. They don't want to see their no. name in the newspaper, uh, like that gentleman said. They don't like that. No. So I think that if... if Hopefully, we can reach out to them and get them to do some things. Uh, I, I, I don't know if we're going to get them to change the type of building they're building, uh, but but at least maybe we can do some buffers. Screen it, yeah. somehow, right. Whether it's yeah. berms or whatever. Right, 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 and make it look like it is part of the of that neighborhood, uh, and also address concerns of traffic. You know. Uh, because of the other group home, we did have an issue with traffic. But you know what? Putting the cruiser out there a few times and giving a few tickets out, it solved a lot of problems. Uh, the people working there learned very quickly that we were serious. So, so I, I understand where you're coming from because we looked at this issue in the past. I don't like the legislation. I understand trying to help these people. But, but I don't like the way it was written. These people are abusing it. They're using it as a business. They're making yeah. a ton of money. 
off of us. And as I understand, right. and as I understand it, the, the nursing homes are suffering as a result. I, I, oh, absolutely. There they're isn't pulling, any doubt in my mind. They're pulling right. people. Right. They're having problems. Right. right. And it, it's it's just a financial burden on all the taxpayers. But but enough said. We are going to try to do whatever we can. We'll do. reach out. We'll definitely reach out. I'll make a call tomorrow and see if I can get an appointment with them, and I'll sit down and share your thoughts, my version. Maybe one so of us. Like your version with more swearing. What I was just going to say. I'm, I'm being, be like your version with yeah, more I'm, swearing. Yeah, I'm being nice That's here. I haven't sworn. I'm just I'm well, trying to we, behave. Yeah. <laughs> so, We've already done that. Yes, we're all set. <clears throat> We've come to terms. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Have well. a good night, folks. That's what I did with McCarty when I met him. Brian, would you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we talked about traffic. We talked about noise. We talked you know, about... That's okay, but I, see, I'd rather him in the corner and they go, who's that? Well, that's Muggsy. Oh, that's <laughs> I get more with Muggsy than I do Chief, right. Chief Bishop. Okay. So who's that? Jersey. Uh, that's that's Muggsy. Jersey. Jersey, yeah, yeah Muggsy, Jersey. Uh, whatever, whatever it Jersey, takes. Muggsy. Yeah. So they got a point. And it is, it's a shame, you know, and, you know, you look at, you know, when you're going to move somewhere... Yeah. You know, you do your homework, right? Oh, absolutely. You look at the map. You look at, so this is R40 for a mile around me. Right. There's no cement plants, no Scenic railroad tracks. Road. There's no, right. you know, airports. There's no whatever. Munitions dumps, right. right? Nothing. And then, you know, so you make that investment. And then something like this, or even with the Dover Amendment, comes into play. And it, 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 subverts, the, it subverts zoning, which was put in place for the, exactly this reason. Can it be resolved with, a, with new legislation in the form of a design bylaw by the planning board? I don't think so. The Dover Amendment. I mean, I, I mean, I got my lesson on the Dover Amendment, so it right? Even, it would even exceed that. I, yeah. The only thing I think you really can't. I would think that you could have a safety discussion if you wanted to go 50 feet, right? And it exceeds the reason we have whatever our 35 foot zoning was because that was the ladder truck, right? So that's why we have a 35 foot limit, right? Right. If someone wanted to exceed that, you would ha you would start to have a conversation as to you know that that's not a that's a safety issue. That's not even un around the zoning aspect of it. Yeah. But everything else was in play. But then, like you, you need an elevator at that point. But I mean, right? But but even that, I, I'm just saying on the outside. But if someone came in and said Dover Amendment, we're going to build a school here, you're going to smile. Done. It's done. And it, you know, you know, it's one of the arguments for you know, and it. it, it it's one of the arguments for you know buying in in like flex residential, right? Because you know, but even even then, because the lots are smaller, and so th that this type of thing may not be appealing in that zone. But people don't want to be on a bigger lot, and unless you're willing to you know really buy your own buffer, you're exposed. And it's a shame because it, it's not right. It, you know, it's it's not right how it is. That's why you have zoning right. to provide those levels of protection. And you know when the, the feds come in or even the state can usurp local control yeah. like that it, it's, it's yeah it's it's not a good thing based upon the state legislation right. right and this isn't it's just not a discriminatory thing this is you know it, it's if it was in character and you go okay right you know i i personally don't have a problem with the van like four trips in a van well, that's less than your your average person does running the kids to ball practice and this practice and work and back is, is as long deal. as it's they're abiding by the speed limit. Well, but that's which, what we found out with sometime the but staff members right we're in a hurry are in a hurry to get to work and a hurry to leave yeah. after work. Yeah. And, and but your but your remedy is the quick fix for that right right, right. you put them out there once a year right and bang out a few tickets it's all done but, but that that's why I took uh, Chief Riccardi with me. Oh, yeah, you know, bring us understood. Both. Chief and Muggsy. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. I'm going to take off. Do you, want, you guys want his email address for Barker? Sure. You can just do a text it to me. I'll text it. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Have a good night. Good night. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what was it? That's Salumi Construction. That's the, uh, the builder. Be the builder of the facility. or Apparently, they do the whole process. Mm -hmm. So. He was at conservation last night and reached out and said, do you mind if I come tonight? I said, no, <laughs> sure. And you know. hopefully he heard what we're saying, right? Yeah, oh, he heard me loud and clear. I've heard that he's, name before. He's been around. Uh, I, I didn't realize. But that, yeah, yeah, but I. But Salumi wasn't in there. No, no, but that's what generated this. No, right. But, you know, Salumi's yes. built other projects in our town. <coughs> he has. He's, uh, Salumi's um, 
he's not a resident, but boy, he may as well be at times. Mm. Right? He had something to do with the American Inn yeah. and, and, and quite right. a few oh, yeah. big so. projects here. Yeah. Very respected name. All right. So to get you up to speed, we did the high school, if you can make it, for their uh, staff IRC opening. Peter I'm probably not allowed to speak. You're probably not. Maybe you can speak. Um, that was a big hit last year. Russ can do it this year. Yeah, they don't want Russ speaking, they said. Um, we talked about the host He's agreement. He volunteered to come. The uh, host agreement was to do with some of this marijuana stuff yep. coming through. Yeah, Mr. Sure. Steinhardt is on top of it. <coughs> Fire truck were done, approved. The uh, deputy chief was basically just a revamp of paragraphs. Same BS. So that's all set. That. Good. Kitchen staffing increased hours. We tabled till next week. And now we are on the Sodom Mountain Campground Automatic Amusement License. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Hundred bucks. Wow. All right. <laughs> that is all set, and we're going to reaffirm the reserve fund transfer for the amount of nine thousand eight hundred for the old cemetery removal of trees. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Wonderful. And we're going to reaffirm PVPC CDBG invoice number twenty. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, can you approve the Sunday entertainment too? Motion to approve Sunday entertainment for the Sodom Mountain Campground facility. So moved. Second. Thank All you. those in favor? Aye. 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 Don't we need it for that one? You don't need it for the other one? Well, oh, the other one's more quiet, the other facility. Okay. What is? The, there's two, right? They have two. The Sonic Mountain. Oh, no. I thought you meant the cemetery. Yeah. I thought you oh, were no, making no. a joke. No. <laughs> no, no. I didn't yeah, say cemetery, I did I? I, I might have said cemetery. Yeah. yeah. But it was the it's next the same thing. location. Right? <laughs> right. Oh, no. He's talking Maybe about the campground. I was talking about the other Maybe campground, right? right. That's what I'm thinking. No. <laughs> I guess it just wasn't on here. Well, they probably no. don't. That's the older. The one down south. Oh, no, we're talking about what she put in the folder. Yes, two items she gave. She gave yeah, we got that. Up. We got we that. that. Yeah, yeah we're fine. Weekday and Sunday okay. entertainment. Yeah. But the other place, I don't believe it. I don't. It's the more of the older crowd goes there. Okay. I don't think yeah. there really is any of that. I don't think they even have a clubhouse or yeah. or a pool or anything over there. Okay. They don't. They don't. They Thank don't. you. But it is close to the cemetery. <laughs> I, I, I yeah. apologize, Mr. No, that's, Chairman. That's, uh, that's, uh, Mr. Fox, I understand you're thinking about your future and. It's probably six feet under. I get it. So it's all good. You did that already. And if you had a four lot or a six lot, a six lot might change things. All right. So we're done with that. We did the PV. PC. Well, you can. We have twenty cremated remains, and you can fit even. You probably even fit more. Hey, here's the Southwick Fire Department. We uh, did that already. I know. I just got to pass them over. All right. The two hundred fiftieth anniversary committee. We need to appoint. We have some more uh, right here people that would like to uh, join, Mr. Chairman, and I'd make that motion for the following people as written. As written. So I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. Right, am I doing okay? Yeah. Okay. Doing great. <sighs> and that's all we'll be doing, right? Yeah, and the, uh, the... I think Cindy wants... Uh, Randy Brown's got to be put on the LEPC, and yep. Alan... Slessler's got to be put on the planning board. Emergency the management planning, planning committee. Can do that, right? So moved. Tom Second. Planner, uh, Alan Sessler. Right. And I think that's it. All those in favor? Yeah. Uh, and then the chief is updating his, his appointment list because he's lost people and he's got people coming and going. So you'll uh, have that at a future meeting. The revolving Excellent. door. Okay. Thanks. So next up, 15A, is this a permit? Is that why this is in front of us? Yeah. All right, doesn't look like a permanent boys, but I, uh, the, um, the. We just need a parade permit. I would need a parade permit for the Southwick Farm Parade, which is actually being partially run by the Southwick Civic Fund, so I will need someone to make a I'll motion. I'll make that motion. I'll second the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And one Cindy, abstention. who's pulling the uh, permit with Mass DOT for these? I do. Oh. We do. Okay. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We already got all that in, so oh. we're good to go. You want to sign this? What do you want to do? Okay. No, we're good. I'll keep this. I could need another flyer. I have to ask. All right. So and after that. I've got to figure out the route. Same thing. You haven't changed nothing. You're ending here. Yep. Same. Okay. Everything's the same that we've given you. Okay. We got it. Does it take a couple okay. weeks to get back? Most of the time? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's fine. We're doing it anyway. Well, that's you know that's that's a funny discussion. Uh, Bob Paul Valeri apparently back in the day was a hellion. Um, shocker. I, shocker. And I, and I knew that growing up. Uh, he raced cars at Riverside Park, and boy, you know that tire met many a fender. So I said to him, "Well, we're you know we're selectmen, and we're putting this parade on no matter what. Who needs those state permits?" And he looks at me, and goes, "Joe, we got to do everything by the book." I, I got a guy that was a troublemaker all his life telling me that Joe, it's all got to be by the book. It was shocking. See, I've bottom. tried playing everything by the book so far. It hasn't worked, worked well. Out. Yeah. We're having a parade. Oh, that's what I said. Oh. Yeah, he just said, Joseph, you can't do that. I'm like, Bob, it's a shock coming from you. You know, he's, he's softening up. I don't get it. What's he, like 78? Okay, so Should next up is the uh, Southwood Rotary Steak Roast. Mm. And is this just an FYI? Yeah, it's an invitation. I missed the HVAC. I thought, okay, we can talk about that later. Okay. All right, so this is an invitation for the uh, Rotary Steak Roast. It's going to be held at the VFW 872 at 181.4 Road. Uh, it's a great uh, event. Tickets are $25 at the door. You can also pick them up at, uh, I believe, Southwick Florist. Normally has about 100 of them sitting in stock. And they're going to recognize the first responders are police, firefighters, and EMTs and our emergency management departments. Uh, comes with uh, meal includes a steak, a baked potato, corn salad, rolls, dessert, plus two drink coupons. And you should there have a conflict be a because your board meeting is on the 18th. Yes, that's wonderful. So, that's where you can get your tickets. Enjoy the show, folks. All right, and up, I don't have it in front of me, was the HVAC came in at how much money? Well, about a little over 13 for the repairs. So, Ta-da! Uh, Bob is... You know, we don't need the reserve now. We'll need one someday later in the fall. Yep. We'll need one later in the fall, probably end of the second quarter, Absolutely. beginning of the third, depending yep. on how expenses are tracking. Because, but the, you know, we have one stage running here. Right. And I sent you an email, so yes. you guys know it. So we're aware, and, and the warranty so is. Joe and Bob spoke today. And we spoke, and so they're they're off and running to uh, order the uh, necessary parts to make sure we have them in place within the next couple of weeks, so we'll be able to finish the year out and start the next year. Probably. Yes, and the warranty on the new one is just for... They're just a year. Even, year. even the other even the other one, when they were all done before, that was from lightning damage. We went through, did yes. a search, and yep. those were not... That was a lightning claim. That was not regular general fund money. Understood. But it was one of those things, because remember, we, we even had lightning uh, radio damage before. Yes, we did. And that, that was three years ago. I had them check. Actually, so, knock on wood, but the lightning hasn't been bad in terms of damaging things this year. Plus, we did have our buildings. I'll tell that to the guy yeah, in Congo. We Monroe. did have yeah. our buildings, um, lightning protection installed on them. We did. So then, then it's working. It's working, and we'll find out, because right. we got a, a hectic day coming to us tomorrow, it sounds like. And hopefully, Carl didn't jinx us. Okay. All right, the roast. All right, so uh, <laughs> a bit opening looks like is next. Yeah, we um, you have two documents. Uh, one is the minutes of the bit opening. I uh, did that today oh. for the library carpeting, mm -hmm. and uh, Bob and uh, Diane also looked at the uh, stuff, and they're making a recommendation to go forward with uh, the award of it to Wagner Rug and Flooring for 24937 which is within the appropriation that we have from town meeting and early funds reserve. So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Do you ever think someday we just won't have a expense at that library? No. Maybe one year? No. It's, it's a dream. All right, and that's with uh, provisional awards for contract for carpet installation, which we just did. Yep, that, so that was the recommendation set. from Bob. All right. Oh, so why did we sign it? Just sign it. Just we sign it and over. Johnson. That's all the same. Uh, just sign it. We're good. All right. S sign this one. Up next is a discussion in regards to um, Westfield Gas and Electric and what is this called? The fiber? Whip City Fiber. Whip City Fiber. Right. Dan Howard had just been, um, I had Sign. talked to him okay. about a I'm month ago, and then he followed up with some more information about that. how it's working and the service that they're providing. So I know the issues come up 
maybe with the new uh, development there going into the uh, golf course. Sure. And, but I've given you the process of what it looks like to be an MLP and how some other towns have done it. So it's something for you to look at. And if you're interested, you could probably extend an invitation to a member of that organization to come down here and meet with you and go over the issue. Let's do that. Let's just have the discussion anyways, whether we do it or not. Um, let's just talk to them just to see what it's really about. So you would like them to come down to a board meeting? Yeah, because, you know, we're going to get to who owns the polls and, and talking right. to Doug the other day, there's much more involved than just going, yep. Oh, yeah. You know. Oh, absolutely. There's a, there's so, a, there's a review. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? I've already had people reach out to me that uh, one was a former Westfield resident and his son still lives in Westfield who just made the transition to... Uh, whatever they call Wood yeah. City Fiber, um, ecstatic, you know, yeah, I'm about, that, too. about that. My in-laws did. And he yeah. said, whatever we can do, if this is possible for Southwick, he would strongly encourage it. So yeah. I don't think it's, I think, it's we should, discussion. I think we should have that discussion. But, you know, when you're talking about two votes and you're talking about forming a municipal light, um, on paper. On paper. And then you, but, you but is there a them, but yeah. What's the cost of that? Is yep. there an annual renewal? Right. Oh, yeah. Like, there's a lot more than there's just... There's hidden, hidden things. That, uh, I recall a sewer yeah. situation right. that uh, right. came back and tickled us. Right. So. Yeah. Well, I think it's also a policy decision by this board, right? Right. It, you, you start having another governmental entity. You know, if we form a municipal light organization as a governmental entity, even if you contract it out, now you've got the government directly competing with the incumbent provider. Granted, the incumbent provider is practically, for monopoly. all intents and purposes, a monopoly in our right. town, right? But it is a discussion to have, and it's, it's, a, it's a philosophical one as one as a service one. I, and I'm also familiar with folks that have gotten the Whip City Fiber. It is fantastic, right? And, and it's probably just people internet are, service. Huh? It's just internet service, but that's the trend, right? This, yep. It, you know, you call I got, it. Right. You know, you can plug that in on well, a screen now, and it's well, like they, a TV. They call really it over can. the top, right? right? So you get you don't have TV service anymore. Everything's over the internet, whether it's internet and air, you baby. know, Philo or yeah, sure. or YouTube TV or whatever, you know. Um, but it's certainly, as a board, this is not something that it's not a very easy decision. It's something no. you need to discuss as a policy whether you want to. To and get you into may that need a business. committee, you may need to reactivate well, your cable and you, committee. Oh from God! The past. Oh, oh, oh. But then you know, you, but you also have to look at what you know. There's also be interesting to see what the incumbent would have to say about this too. Right. 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 They they will not be pleased. Right. No. But um, but they don't have the poll. You know, it's, it's not that easy. Well, but the it, polls no, they don't own the poll. They don't own the poll. Oh, Verizon. Also Verizon EverSource polls. Verizon right. EverSource. But they they Verizon, just, they Verizon their wouldn't own, be excited. Your they cable like company and internet. Provider that you have now under contract has their space on those polls too. True. Correct. Okay, so there you go. So it right. they're a tenant too. So does the broadband, correct? That's what we yeah. like Comcast. Comcast yeah. Oh, you're talking about the municipal broadband. Right. Right. They're on some of the polls as a tenant as well. Right. 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 Okay. Yeah. They came to you, the Mass Broadband Institute. Right. right. Not right. to that be through. confused with Comcast. That's Broadband product because okay. it's got the same right. name. I should have MBI, I should have mass product. Okay, I'm is, like, yeah. they're on some of the polls too right. to get into town and out. To, to go through our town, town to get to, 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 to the hill towns. Right, right. 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 Get, in those hill towns, they're very. They are working out deals with Web City Fiber all over these other hill towns. Which sure. as, it absolutely because makes they sense. don't have a contest. Correct. Absolutely. Right. And one of them did opt to go with Comcast. Do Comcast I write, did come in to do I write, you end up in some of these, these other communities that have to put that infrastructure up. There is those large upfront capital costs that have to be spread over time under what, a payment system. What is that called? It's some kind of schedule. That's the word. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's just something we should really talk through as a board, right? And, and decide if that's something. I mean, we got some people on that committee, Clippy and the guys, they're on that committee. Okay. So sometime after, um, after some, sometime after just the before the snow falls. Okay, just that's to let you, by down. then, Dan will have retired because he just announced his retirement. Well, that's yeah, I just, yeah. Boy, oh boy, they're dropping yeah. like flies. Hmm. Was that a good package? All right. All right, so I'll, I'll let them know to send us some dates. Mm -hmm. 
What, what, when are you thinking, Joe? Uh, October, November, December? When were you? Uh, November looks really good. November? Okay. Select board goals as of June 4th. I removed several. Did you? Are yeah. those under, Cindy? Are those under action? I don't see. Uh, here. All right. There, action. So it looks like number eight union agreements were all set. For now. For yeah. now. Come on over and find mine. Um, the deputy, yep. Yeah. Number 10. Yeah. Number 12. Oh, God rest our souls. Uh, 13 is okay. 14. 15. It, I hear it's connected. Yep. Right behind 60 days. They paved the road. Do you think... Uh, they did the grass. Can you, when you email her tomorrow, Russ, why don't you ask if you can have the first flush? I don't have six minutes. Maybe that'll be Monday after. Yeah, uh, you get the I first flush, or maybe you'll get the gold toilet seat. What do you think, Russ? Huh? Remember the gold toilet seat? <laughs> It'll be probably Mr. Fox. Just sit there. You're not speaking. Yeah. Well, I'll mention the gold, the gold seat. See, last year was we were lucky, right? Because they had about 12 minutes before that meeting, they just finished paving the road. Yeah. So yes. She asked me to say something. I said, uh -huh. "Your road's here." Have a nice time. Oh, see, she, she was perfect. She was not happy no, with me. No, I, <laughs> yeah. and I'm cognizant of what it, I kind of kept it light, right? Oh, road's here. <laughs> Just in time. All right, so you're marking up that one? Yep, so Looking number 20 we can scratch out. Number 23, we're working on that. Um, number 25 can go. All right. Number, um, are you looking for updates on anything? Sure, about? yeah, keep on going. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd it go? Yeah. Bear with me. Here. Thanks. Number 11, we have a meeting tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. we have a meeting tomorrow. Yep. Carl yeah, said. Carl scheduled me for something. Nice. Yeah. So I have a meeting with all the department heads, right, to kind of talk about wow. some of the vulnerable. Several departments. Several. Some of the department heads. So basically yep. one guy's going to show up besides Carl. Yeah. And um, we're going to go over... The vendor study that was done, yep, and some proposed, some thoughts on proposed on the direction, next phase, the next phase, and to how go we can to try to go get comment. more money to implement what right. we need. The to recommendations. Implement. Show me the money. Correct. So that's good. That's moving. Yep, that's moving. Gotta like that. Yep. Uh, sidewalks. Well, I know we're looking at those on depot. That's been budgeted. I don't know when they're going to get to it. Um, I just drove by. They're not done yet. I noticed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the town council is working with uh, Randy on the. Descriptions of the easements. Yep, understood. Could could we take it a step further, though, since we've been talking about this for a couple of years now, and we actually funded it based on what we were told, and went out and got easements, and I know that uh, we're I'm, we're probably going to say, well, we got le legal e legal issues to cl uh, clear up first, but I'd like to. Well, see we have the vote. I'd like to see if we couldn't have this sidewalk done before the snow flies this year, you know, to connect to the rail trail. Uh, it's a dangerous situation, but this is also an opportunity to get people off the rail trail down into the business uh, okay. section. I will yeah, with the leaves are changing. Yep. Right. Yep. I will pass that along to uh, Council and DPW. And ask, ask for, uh, could we ask for a timetable? Is that... Sure. All right with the board? Yes. Just make sure it's coming from Russ. So, so obviously, if um, our issue would be, is it, even if Mass DOT was thinking about doing that as a beta or, you know, as a sample project, if it's going to be later than this schedule, we want to use the money we already have appropriated. We, 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 yeah. Yeah, we've been... Mass DOT took an interest in this project for some reason? Uh, maybe as a sample location. For what? Wow. How come every time... We go to fund we, we go to discuss like paving. Is there a bug from in Ag here? Is Aguam, bug? Aguam line to yeah. to Calabrese's. We can't do it, but then the state comes and does it. Right. And then it was before Calabrese's because I live across uh, right. from Calabrese. Right. Get that correct. Okay. But to be clear, it's also taken them eighteen months to put stripes and lines lines on College Highway. Oh, that yeah. that was under my thing. Under Sorry, new I didn't business. mean to steal your thunder. Yeah, you got a gallon of paint. We going out tonight? We could do it. <laughs> All right. <Yeah. laughs> Carl, we need to borrow your truck. It's already got paint on it. So yeah, we're good. Yeah, but not that color. 
Well, ah. now it'll it'll be complimentary. I, right. I'm, I'm, but seriously, uh, this is it gonna be white. I don't know if you guys oh, noticed it, but I've noticed it the past few couple of months. People aren't getting all the way over because they're the hesitant because they don't know where the lines are. Can we have the safety officer call Mass DOT? I, I, We've done that. But I, yeah, I, well, I he think, carries more weight than anyone. Well, what are you saying? What I, <laughs> I, I'm, I gotta be comparable. <laughs> I, I'm wondering if if we have several issues with Mass DOT, uh, maybe oh, it's well. time that Senator Hummison, Representative Boltiga, and we have a little road trip up to Northampton to discuss line striping, <sighs> speed on College Highway. What's his name? Scott, uh, right? Wasn't he yeah. Stegner? Steg Stegman? Stegman. Steg Stegman. But his family used to live in Southwick on Davis Road. Uh huh. Uh, but that didn't I get us anywhere. Was Hill, no, they Stegmans lived on Davis Road. Um, went to school with uh, two of his sisters. That's the Harvard of Southwick. That could be the problem yeah. that he went to school with two of his sisters. Uh, well, they, my brother. Never mind. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why nothing's happening. Oh, no, he but, retired. He, Stegman's gone. He's been right. gone for a while. And now. also about the, the the impact the Westfield Bridge is having on on. Sunnyside. Oh, sunny we should forward. have. Do you know who is our current Mass DOT guy for Southwick? Can you no. get him in here? Maybe we should take him to Murphy's for lunch. No, just have him come for a meeting and discuss everything. That too. I have an open invitation to come out. They probably won't come. I know, but it's worth a letter. But uh, the last time we went up there as a f with the, uh, it was Mike Kanapik at the time, and, and wow. uh, like the Nick? senior bus. Was it Nick? Was, Nick it was and I think it was Nick, right? I'm driving again. Well, it's coming up Thanksgiving. I am. Can't yeah. Wait. If it's, yeah. Well, it's, in November, I can go before November. I'm okay. okay. All right. All right. So, old library reuse. Uh, wait a minute. This, okay. What, where, yeah, where are you? We're still on number one. one. We're still on number one. You're yep. on number one. Yep. We're still on the sidewalk. Oh, you're on number two. We, we detoured. Yeah, we're all over the How are we in the library? They were so uh, ben, ben has uh, developed an updated draft, but he has not finalized it to send to me. That will... Both reflect both pathways authorized by both town meetings. Good. Because well, also. The casino's opening no soon, and we're going to probably lose Ben. We're going to lose Ben? Why? To, to the, the casino? casino? Well, or? long lunches. I don't know. I mean. <laughs> okay. He's not producing. He by he's that. not producing too quickly now, so what's going to oh, no, happen no, no, when the no, casino they opens? Were on, they, they, no, he's actually, vacations he, again? They, they've done very well in the last month. Ah, so. I got to talk to that guy. All right. We may have to go and meet. Yeah, we're going to have to go meet Ben. On Friday? <laughs> to, no, we'll wait a week. <laughs> yeah. I ain't going anywhere. I'd, near I'd wait a few weeks. Friday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This Friday. This, oh, this Friday, yeah. Yeah, number That's three. At least we'd have a place to park. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. They probably got a they tunnel. Probably have they probably a have a tunnel money, that goes yeah, right through and up. <laughs> they got a special handshake and everything. All right, number three, mandates for stormwater and signage. Oh, boy. Don't. Funds voted for federal NOI preparation set aside. No, we know Randy's working on it. He's working on it. Yeah. Economic development. Well. It's a long breath. Right. Yeah. Congamon Road reconstruction. Digging. They're working on it. Well, that's commenced. Commenced. Yep. Uh, yeah. With completion Project commenced. 2000, estimated 2019 finish. Yep. Net metering. Yep, contracts are executed. I think That's we could done. probably take that take off. Take that off, yeah. Wally Park, phase 33. I mean, three. Um, the lights are ordered, right? Yes, the parking lot lights have been ordered. Wonderful. Be very exciting. And the vendor to install is under contract. So, can I ask the stupid question? So, when it's December 28th and there's eight inches of snow, will those lights be on at night? No. I, I, we know that's no, but... Well, because I want to get, if you follow that down, okay. Mr. Chairman, to Light number switch. 16, which I will be asking about. Because okay. we did go fairly awesome. smooth, but that should be part of that. Yes. All right, so right. continue I think, on. You were going to work with Bobby, right? Number no. 11. That was going to be done. <laughs> we talked about the community compact. Number 13, where you are lightning speed on the 250th anniversary committee. It is amazing. I understand there's a new chairman in town for that. There is, Mr. Chairman. So you could put down yeah. committee, no, committee form. I nominated uh, Jim Putnam to be chairman of that committee last night, and he accepted. Never go to the and restroom. He is the new chairman <laughs> of that. 
Wow. That's two huge appointments for Mr. Putnam inside of a couple of weeks. Well, it I is. saw that article that, and it said he is the person. That is an honor for, for him. He was appointed to the vice, vice, vice chair of the Big E. Of the Trustees. Big E. Trustees. Wow. The Big E, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations to our moderator. No, that's that's really cool. No, no, it's awesome. No, yeah. it's a, it's quite an honor. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Jim, Jim is the right person. He's retired now. He can focus on that. That's pretty cool. So yeah. Not someone that's is. juggling. No, too no, many no, no. Absolutely. You know, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And he did a great job. He took over last night and did a great job and uh, got the thing focused. And we've already uh, tentatively scheduled uh, the date for the parade in 2020. So you get her started on the permits, she'll have them just in time. Well, we're going to... Yes, she yes. is. Yes. Well, it's going to be a template from the animal yeah. parade. Well, Hopefully we'll probably, that goes we might get the permit for that parade right around the time we get the one right. for the 250. Okay, so on that one we put committee formed and state funds acquired. Right. Oh, yeah. Sure. Number 16. And the next one, oh. committee has, the committee has been formed on that one, too. Yeah. yeah. And they are meeting... Tomorrow night. No, Thursday, Thursday night. Thursday night. And they're going to be going over the survey, the survey questions. Survey questions and, uh, and look, we've the RFP, RFP to be released right. for, to secure quotes for a consultant, consultant to be the um, support vendor for the, uh, the committee. Wonderful. And I'm, I'm confident the chairman... Uh, uh, based on the great work that was done by the previous committee that we will be able to accomplish. Dennis Clark wasn't there, so I made him chairman. Of the open space? Open space. So uh, he's been working diligently on it, and uh, I think we'll be able to wrap it up. In, Interested uh, citizens are helping in, him? In, in, right. In very short time. We won't be taking two years to accomplish this. Nice. All right. Uh, 16, Wally Park Maintenance. Fifth, what about 15? We've we already talked about it. Oh, okay, so take it off because it yeah. is done. It's yeah, done. we crossed it off. They crushed the old tanks already, so yeah. they're live. They're, yeah. So Wally Park Maintenance developed with building ground supervisor. We just need to check with Mr. Johnson. They were supposed to have li a literal binder on how to turn off that park and turn on that park by, by no one but town people be doing it or their contractors. No one's standing over their shoulder. When it's time to shut the park, we shut the park. When it's time to open the park, we open the park. And secure it for the winter so that nothing untoward happens. Well, the securing part's going to be a nightmare like usual, but... 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 At least we're supposed to have no, a No, the binder. bathroom's going to be locked and winterized and... But they had a second mechanism to double lock the doors so that... Yes. Because there was some keying questions around that, but just so that... This year, my understanding is it was smooth. The opening was fairly smooth. There was yep. no no issues. No, no major issues. We want to want that to be repeatable. And Mr. Johnson's done a commendable job. I just want to make sure we have that binder on the shelf. Yep. So that Mr. Johnson or his designee or his, down the road someone else can do it. Yep. Absolutely. And that to your point about there's going to be a switch somewhere to turn off those lights for the winter. Right. Right. I would hope. Right. Yeah. All right. I'll talk to Bobby. Thank you. ALS transition program. Transitioning. We're transitioning. Still under. Yeah, we did the uh, reappointments as needed. TPW snow and ice removal policy. You adopted that. Okay. You want to take that off? Yeah. Maintenance for private roads. Uh, do you want to take 19 off? We still have some neighbors to meet with. So, oh, we do. For the snow and ice, right. TPW meeting with neighborhoods. Okay, yeah, no, leave that on. I'm sorry. 19 stays on, and we got to make that phone call shortly. Get a few of them in here. Twenty-one. Cell tower RFP. Ah, uh, that's still. Um, it's on Ben. <coughs> behind the casino. Yeah, no, it, it's coming. He he he. Remember, one of the two parcels was in a tax title issue, and they just finished resolving. They cleared that up. Good. With the developer and their attorney. Nice. Twenty-two transfer station recycling. Ongoing. I know he's been meeting with the uh, school. He's trying to get the schools to be uh, to increase <coughs> their recycling. I've seen him. Right. Did you get that information you had requested from me from MMA? I did, I think, right? The copy of the business cards? Yeah, Casella and the other one. Yeah. Okay. I've done nothing. That's fine. Disappointed in myself. <laughs> All right. Uh, fire department apparatus, we are good with. So we bought a ladder truck. We bought a ladder truck. It's red and it's coming with lettering on it. Even well, says Southwick, right? We still have the lettering. Well, no, we no, don't, don't go there. We, we don't know if it's going to say Southwick. We still have. <laughs> 
you still have the we still have the pumper, the to, pumper do, to deal with. He said there's plenty of money left in that budget. So oh we're, yeah, we're, I know, I know that. that. We're I'm good. I'm good. The fourteen thousand difference. He's going to buy some small um, loose equipment, loose equipment, a couple of air fresheners, and he'll be good to go. <laughs> All right. That's it. Twenty four municipal building feasibility. We are working on that. It, at Ben, uh, it was finalizing the language with Jim. Yeah. Uh, Mazik for the attachment to the RFP. So that, it, it, you know, that should go out the next couple of weeks. Wonderful. That's January. memorial policy we've taken care of. Mm -hmm. uh, road rename. Road rename. That is projects. going to be, the police are going to be having a public informational session on Wednesday night, the 26th of September. Yep. So if you want to just put down the... 26th of December, is that what you said? PD 926 info session. Oh, 926. And then after that session, then it will eventually make it to you for the formal hearing. Understood. Under the town code and the state law to rename the roads. Understood. All right. Like I said, these are a lot of things that the different department heads and Ben have been working on. and. And they've really ramped up their actions in the last couple of Okay? Wonderful. All right. That's all I got under that. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, we did the library carpet bid. Whip City Fiber we talked about. Update of that. We did that. We did goals and objectives. Yeah. Discussion of public space booking. We'll deal with that next week. Yeah. Um, what else do we have under old business? Anybody have anything? Well, just back to the uh, line striping. Yeah. Speed in College Highway. Yeah. I Westfield got that for Bridge. The MSDOT. And that uh, whether or not we want to uh, meet side with them. Tour, or, want a side tour? Or either meet with, if they will come here, that'd be great. Who's well, that? It, Mass DOT. We'll ask the state rep and senator whether or not they want to come here to go over these issues as a site tour or whether or not we're going to go to district one. Make a motion for Russ Fox to deal with that. I can go issue. back up there because Mr. Stegman is left. Okay. Can you second that? Sure. I'll second all those in favor, aye. So Russ, you run with that. For your season. I'm sorry, I didn't Fox. catch the license plate of that. <laughs> yeah. uh, Russ wants to go down the there, reflector. wants to go to the state and do all that right. running around. I'm very busy right now, and I'm sure you are too, and Russ might have a few extra minutes. If the opportunity arises, I will gladly join. Yes, yeah. that's wonderful. All right, anything else on our old business? Um, I, I've mentioned this before. Mention so it I'll again, please. The water line to the old cemetery. Oh, what's up with that? It's, it's not working. Um, hmm. I'd like to see if the board would reach out to the water commissioners to see if we couldn't get water back to the old cemetery uh, because the friends of the old cemetery need that, water. need that water to continue cleaning. Scrub a dub dub. And uh, it would make it a lot easier if they could have access. How long has it not been working? You don't mind me asking. Years. Oh, so it's not a spigot issue. It's, it's, it's dead probably somewhere. a bad line, you know. Like a blockage or? Probably broken. I would imagine broken, they turned it off. I'm just speculating. You know, because nobody was needed water to water right. plants because nobody was planting any flowers. Yeah. You know. Carl, could you reach out to DPW in an email to the water department? And if they can recall what the history was with why it went dead, we have some older guys left that may recall why. And if, if we can possibly get water there. Yeah, see what kind of repair we can do. If it's feasible or, or put a spigot where the, the leak is and maybe get it halfway there. No, mm -hmm. you never know. And that's all I have. That's all you got. Any old business? No, oh, sir. I mentioned we were having that meeting tomorrow. Yep. We do a great job at that meeting. Any new business? Nothing. Sir? Well, we have something here under the flaggers for infrastructure projects, auxiliary police, but Kevin was at your last meeting and was going to look into that, so I don't know why I got put here. That should be under old business, right? Yeah. Where is that? Was we talked a, about being able to utilize. Was no, that no, I knew meeting, that. Or was that? No, that was, was Kevin. That was that was when Kevin was here and at, at, when he was talking about, talking about the flaggers, the flaggers and, yeah, and the whole. I don't remember who was here. Or was that a? No, it was Kevin. In that no, but it was here, right? It was yes, here. it was here. He, yeah. he had talked about remember when the, able to utilize the recommendation the for the sergeant and there were a few other topics you talked about. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. 
during yeah. the meeting. Yep. Yep. Closest school. But we should carry that under old business, yeah. right? Right. Yeah. Because right. so what Springfield? Yeah. See, that's the thing I don't understand. If you wanted to, even a special police, right? The guys that retire to come direct traffic. Springfield just did that, I'm sure, because of the casino. They got about yeah. 15 guys yeah. to come back. Yeah. But they're all. But I think it was special legislation to make that work. Right, but I think. On top of it. But they're still all under 65. Oh, are they? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. Yeah, they, the they got out. Yeah, I don't think it's that issue. No, but it. But I think it was just to create their ability to do that. As opposed to calling them whatever. Yes. We essentially have the same thing here called reserve officers. They right. Do all the same issues, do Correct. details, and can do cruiser, cruiser right. qualified and do cruiser duty. Right. And what we're looking for is. But well, Westfield flyers. has something like that too. But what's right? happening yes, in places special. like that? They ran special. out because of construction. They ran out of. They can't get flaggers because no, Mr. Kevin said they're even more money. Right. And they couldn't. They don't want to bring in people from other towns without right. using their own people first. Correct. This is going to allow them to use their own people because yes. they're they have a lot of people that are going into the casino assignments. Sure. I don't yeah. know if any of these. When they also have the them. casino sucked up a lot of retirees too. Yes. Recent retirees within and the casino, as, employees as employees of the casino. Correct. Correct. You're right. Under yeah. their security department. Correct. Which is the head large. Of yeah. yeah. Doesn't surprise me, but it, I mean, it's well suited for them. But but when when we have this, like we have what like six programs going on in town right just right now at the sure. height of the season. Yeah. And we got no bridge way. project, paving project, Congamon Road project, and then various other yeah. utility things going on around town. And you can't get, can't get the details you need. It's yeah. this yeah. would just be one other avenue. My understanding in the, in the check down the, makes sense. The Shirtlift Brook project. Um, that roadway should be opened up by late Friday afternoon. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. There, and I, I, meant, I wrote his I went name by there with some it. joggers the other day. To check Somebody's out. been taking drone photos almost daily of it. It's kind of really neat. cool. Yeah, it's neat. Where are they posting Facebook. it? Facebook. Facebook. And they're really neat. So Send you can me see the mark. I've seen that. I'll have to get on the Facebook there, buddy. Um, the. the uh, it's on it, the south They're moving right end. along, yeah. and it's, it's pretty quick moving for a construction project of that yeah. magnitude. Yeah. yeah. So one day there was. A a chance, oh. and the next day there's a you know a good chunk of bridge over the over troubled waters there. Yeah, right. it's and all they, Looks like they got most of the paving done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're working on it. Yeah. yeah, and the other paving. George Loomis is done, right? Or almost done? The millings were done on those ones. The uh, Klein is done being paved. Yeah, they're right. doing something on Vining Hill. They did Vining. Yeah, Hill. Vining Hills. It's, the, it's west of me, so I go east the in the morning. But I heard them. That. I heard them yeah. yesterday morning. <laughs> But, uh, That's the cold in place. And they were working on uh, Klein because they talked to one of the residents up there. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, get George. The, the roads them. will be significantly plowed. Well. Right. And it'll be done before school starts. So, and now we can do the line striping once we've got everything set. We'll once once you're done with Bass DOT, they'll come fix all their stuff. Oh, sure, they're going to. Well, look, I figure if we do our line striping, maybe they'll yeah. understand that we well, want we know how to do it. college you, highway done. You did tell them about our field trip last Friday? I don't remember. The paving unit. The paving unit. Oh, yes, the paving unit. Uh, I Mr. Did. I Steinhardt I filled you in. I I you. <laughs> filled you in, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> See what you did there. See, cemetery. I thought you <laughs> yeah, meant yeah, cemetery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he was doing funeral work. That's why. I know. No, understood. Really understood. But <laughs> it's called making a That looked like a mass DOT job. We had... Like yeah, nineteen I trucks heard. on. Yeah, I heard somebody was filming it because. Oh, they, oh they probably. Could, there was nineteen trucks up there to look at us fill one hole. Yeah. <laughs> well, they kept filling the holes when we left. Them, but yeah. They did, but it was cute because they filled the bigger ones and there was some smaller holes next to them. Like, what about those? Oh, right. yeah. Not yet. Weren't you? Not big enough. Are we going at? Uh, we have a second session. We did. Yeah, right? yeah, we did. As, as did the those? clerk, I yeah. pointed the list as okay. written. As oh, it's written. Okay. I didn't know. Uh, do we have executive session this evening? We do not. I don't think we do. I need a motion to adjourn. So Second. Long. All those in favor? Aye. Aye, Aye Tindy. Thank you.